good afternoon everyone. This is the work of San Jose ES researchers. So for the template, uh, we choose grade one and we focus on English. Our specific problem identified in the new normal is the lack of phonemic awareness of grade one learners. Our proposed intervention is the proposed intervention takes place in the respective homes of the learners during home visitation of the assigned teachers. Before the conduct of the intervention, parents' consent was secured by the teacher and health protocols was observed. Part of the intervention is providing different enhancement activities like showing of the loading offline videos about letter sounds and letter names. The word identifying beginning, middle, and end sound, and also rhyming words. For the, um, for the question, to be guided with the study, the following question were raised. First is, what is the performance of grade one learners of San Jose AS in terms of phonemic awareness before the conduct of intervention? The second question is, what are the impacts of different enhancement activities to the performance of grade one learners during the conduct of every activities? And the last question is, is there a significant difference between the performance of the recipients before and after the conduct of the intervention? So our proposed title is the Edok Tahanan Enhancement Activities for Phonemic Awareness. For, the, for this template, um, same lagi hapon, then our suggested title is Edok Tahanan Enhancement Activities for Phonemic Awareness. Our, our baseline in our data is the result of pre-survey assessment of phonemic awareness tool that we, um, that, that we uh, get from the phonemic awareness assessment, assessment for grade one by reading rockets of 2004. So we modified the, the tool, we translate it into Visayan so that it, uh, it would be easier for the conduct. And also, we also base in the data during our monitoring because most of the concern of the parents is that grade one is not ready for modular because they didn't even know the letter names and letter sounds. So that's, that is why we come up with this intervention map. That, uh, for our uh, data sa among pre-survey result, so the, the assessment tool composed of this uh, awareness phonemic awareness skill, the phoneme matching, phoneme isolation, phoneme isolation with final sound, phoneme isolation with medial sound, phoneme blending, phoneme segmentation, phoneme manipulation, phoneme manipulation with final sound, and phoneme manipulation substitution. So these are the results of our pre-survey. So in that check, check column, uh, it, uh, it talks about the, uh, the number of learners that can perform the activity. And in the third column, that uh, tells about the number of the, the learners that cannot perform the activity. So, as you can see in the data, Mama, on the amo ang result. That would be all, Mom. Thank you. Yes, go ahead, Mom. San Jose, is this San Jose, Mom? Yes, Mom. Yes, Mom. Congratulations, San Jose, of your inuk tahanan. You mentioned about you mentioned about uh, observing the health protocols because you will be going there, I guess, inuk tahanan uh, in the tahanan. Yes, uh, going back to your data, ma'am, it can yes, be seen that majority of them really, majority cannot, of them uh -oh, cannot perform the phonemic awareness skills that you mentioned since all of them cannot the well, majority in the region cannot perform so that means all of them are recipients of your iduk tahanan am i right ma'am yes ma'am okay and then in your iduk tahanan there is no specific skill because you have almost the same results so that means your eduktahanan will cover all the skills. Tama ba ko, ma'am? Yes, ma'am. Oo, ma'am. Okay. So, 
I think you are right, mom, of choosing phonemic awareness skill since you, you find it as the priority. And then based on the result, wala na kay hanapon nga specific kay tanan man kinahangla ni mo i-address all of them. Yes, ma'am. My question, ma'am, is the way you will do the eduk tahanan, do you think and the process can address all these skills in phonemic awareness. Can you please describe, ma'am? So our, our first activity, ma'am, is yung showing of offline videos, downloaded, downloaded offline videos uh, about letter sounds and letter names. So by doing this activity, maybe that the learners can... Um, can familiarize the sound of the letters because they are more attractive in videos. So we download the video from YouTube, from YouTube, ma'am. So which skill there in the phonemic awareness, ma'am, as a shani fall, kung ka na'y may hatag? Um, sa, kaning pwede po siya sa phoneme isolation, ma'am, identifying the initial sound because there are videos also na nag-focus po sa initial sound and also the final sound and the medial sound. And also, we another activity for enhancement is the a picture word, picture word activity. Yung magpapakita po kami ng alit mga halimbawa ng mga bagay-bagay na nagsisimula sa letter M. Example, yung mais, mga mane, ganon po, ma'am. Then, another activity is identifying beginning, middle, and end sound. Siguro, kanina activity, ma'am, amo na ni siya ikanda. Mga fourth week, siguro sa amo intervention, ma'am, nga nana ni foundation nga gibuhat sa letter sounds or picture word. So, maybe at that time, maka-identify na sila sa beginning, middle, or end sound. So, that means your iduk tahanan is a complete package of skills of phonemic awareness. Am I right, ma'am? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yes, Last ma question, ma'am. Uh, how will you do it, ma'am, considering that your learners are of different locations? How will you program your intervention? Um, actually, ma'am, in our actually, ma'am, in our school, um, we are grouped in different areas. So every teacher are uh, assigned in specific area. Example, um, Binooyan, Kaisiman. So. We are divided into two. Uh, we are divided into four groups. So, as researcher, we will provide the teacher the intervention material so that they can cater those learners who um, reside in that certain area, ma'am. Ah, okay. So, just a piece of advice, ma'am. Since you will give the materials to others before going to the station, you are going to level off so that. You will have an agreed activity for a particular session. Parang ganon ma'am. Okay. That if you if you will go there, you have the same goal that you are going to have these skills be improved. But of course, depending on the performance of the learners, how fast and how slow these learners uh, could cope with the interaction. So I guess that would be all, ma'am. Uh, it's there already. Based on the data, wala akong sasabihin na ito lang na skill kasi lahat kailangan. Depende na yun, ma'am, paano nyo i-manage yung iduktahanan na ma-address yan lahat, ma'am. In a span of time, based on your plan. Congratulations, San Jose. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am, please. And congratulations once again, San Jose National High School. I mean, San Jose Elementary School. Thank okay. you, ma'am.